We know you guys love a shootout and we haven't had one for a while. We're very sorry, but we have the most stupendous shootout yet. Two Australian built classics. We've got a Riviera 6000 versus a Whitley FF 1950. What the fuck are you thinking? That sounds stupid, doesn't it? Well, it's not as stupid as what I have to wear to get on this bloody Riviera. Bear with me. Okay, I'm ready to meet the owner of this Riviera. I've got my white shorts on, I've got these stupid fucking glasses, and I've got this even worse hat. All I need is a bottle of wine to pretend I actually like him. Let's go and meet Dale. Let's check out the bedrooms. Approximately 10 hours later. So this is the guest bedroom. Polished walnut finishes, ocean views, 465 cushions. And the reason why there's so many cushions is because when Dale and Darren are left alone, they have pillow fights. Stop it, Dazza. So come with me. This is the this is the lower lounge. Step aside, peasant. <laughs> Let's go check out his wardrobe. Get wet. Let's get wet, Dale. You're claiming this is your wife's. Yes. Angry red bass. Very mad snapper. This is the presidential suite. What, what exactly are you the, the president of? Oh my gosh, should be staying in the field. I bet you're a fucking president of a golf club or something. It's 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 a pretty nice rig. Tell me what what sort of what sort of folding stuff are we talking about? Probably what about that thick, maybe or two of them. <laughs> How many Whitleys? I've actually calculated. You could have thirty three Whitley, nineteen fifties, or or this boat. I've spoken with your mates upstairs. We actually think you're quite selfish to have this all to yourself when you could have bought each one of your buddies a nineteen fifty. Do you see it that way? No, because then it's better off if you just get this one and we all go on one boat, it's way more fun. Oh, the fucking boss. Oh, oh you know, yeah, there's no toilet in the Whitley. So the hole in the ozone layer pretty much follows you wherever you go. Only if I drive it. <laughs> What's pushing it along? Pods, we've got um, twin. IPS. Coffee, coffee pods. Coffee pods. I noticed. Uh, I noticed that upstairs. We've got IPS 950s Volvos, which are 725 horsepower. Yeah. Each. I don't think you even got over 30 knots on the way up here. It's a bit of a disappointment. I mean, the Whitley was. We were. It's the FF 1950 models. We were doing 36 knots. How many fridges on the on the on the Fox? We've got five F full fridges plus a freezer. Yeah. Plus two ice makers. The Whitley has two eskies. <laughs> <laughs> but they double as seats. Can I sit on your fridges? So you've gone Meetung, Gold Coast. How how much fuel was that? It's about, um, we did it at speed. It's about 800 nautical miles. So we've probably burnt close to 8,000 litres of diesel. I've, I've got boats that cost less than the amount of fuel that we just spent getting here. But, but geez, we had fun. How old is this boat? Uh, this one's, um, it's coming up three years in July. And how long did it take to build? It take, um, take about five months when they start the process of the build. That's, that's um, very quick for a white pointer. <laughs> <laughs> And when the big girl rolled into um, into Meetung, did you suddenly have a heap of new mates? Um, you do get a few, mm. I must admit. I hate that, guys that just come along for, just because you've got a good a good boat and kind of use you for that. It's, oh shit. It's, it's probably more the girls. That's pretty much what I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> do those mates, do they, do they, like, do they rate it? They, is it a man's boat? Like, is this like, uh, it's not deep V, it's more wide fridge. Like. It's a good piss drinking boat. Yeah. And stay out overnight. 
run amok. Rod holders. The Whitley definitely has more rod holders. We only have four. What I can do is put it on the trailer and take it back home whenever I want. Like, are you running an aluminium or a, a, a steel trailer for this one? <laughs> steel. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a boat lift. <laughs> I've got to hand it to you. It's, I mean, it's a very, very impressive boat. It probably changed my opinion of, of Rivieras and Riviera owners. But it, it's, I, I like the fact you use everything on the boat. You're not afraid when the Whitley anchor scratches down the side of it. There was not too many complaints there either. But it's got some cool little tricks. Show me that little iPad, uh, iPad boat porn you were showing me before. We have, um, we have our, our radar running. We've got our depth sounder and we've got our radar. We can look at the boats in front of us and behind us. We can move it around. We go over to our floor camera. Um, I saw it give birth to another miniature boat <laughs> earlier today. What was that? Oh, we just run a little AB tender with a little 20 horsepower on it. What's the best thing about owning a block of flats on water? You've got lots of mates. You mean <laughs> where are where are these mates you keep talking about? Oh, I swear, if you had a Whitley, you'd have more mates. Oh, nah. Dale has finally evicted us from the Riviera. Had something to do with drinking all his red wine, but now we are on the Whitley. This is the FF 1950. The FF stands for fast. It's actually pretty quick. We're doing 36 knots. Faster than the Riviera was one of the categories that we beat the Riviera on. Uh, more rod holders as well, beat them there as well. But this is Whitley's entry level boat for offshore fishing. This hull is based on the Savage Mako design, which was a bit of a classic uh, back in the day. Some things have changed. They've got the extra pods on here to give the boat more lift in the rear and gives it a little bit more stability as well. We're running on about 19 degrees and it runs it runs pretty well. Okay, it's not in the Edencraft and Bass Strait six metre class. It's, it's a much lighter boat. This boat is uh, about 1600 kilo. That's on the trailer, whereas in Edencraft, uh, say six metre, we're looking at about a tonne in the hull weight only. So it's obviously lighter and you feel that on the water. Well, the one thing I really do like is the internal freeboard. It feels like a really safe boat, a really nice driving position. And that's where Whitley, I guess, are targeting the FF 1950 is at that family fishing market. It is a safe boat. A few other things I really like, the seats. These are probably some of the strongest Whitley seats we've been aboard. They're easy to operate and they swivel 360 with a little bit of adjustment. Uh, they're incredibly comfortable and they're at the right height as well. They sit on a stainless base, which is also adjustable. Underneath, there's a couple of 43 litre eskies, which are, are probably the right size esky. You know, they, they cool down very quick. They're not too heavy when they're loaded up either. A few other things I like is the storage pockets, uh, just under the gunnel, gunnel tops here as well. You can get a lot of stuff in there. I think the best selling point for the 1950 is this fishing cockpit space. The other thing is this transom door that gives you a little bit more room as well. That obviously folds down for towing and you can lift the Mercury uh, or your motor of choice into the boat. Another nice feature is the walkthrough windscreen. So that's handy for pulling to the beach and jumping off and dislocating your L4 and L5 as I did. I'm a big fan of the Mercury 135. That was a real highlight busting move out there off the Gold Coast. Um, we did get stuck in a few holes in the tsunami created by Dale's Riviera. I, I think as a bay boat and an occasional offshore boat, yeah, I, I think it gets a, a tick from the captain. The other selling point for this boat is the price. It's 80 grand. So that gets you nowhere near a new Edencraft or Bass Strait. You're probably looking at somewhere 120 plus by the time you've got everything on it. There's a few things I'd change uh, if I bought this boat. One is the exposed battery uh, down towards the rear of the boat. And that's, that, that's a sort of wet spot as well. Uh, the other thing is the kill tank. Not sure what's going on there, but the lid doubles as a surfboard. That was, that was quite dangerous. There's a few little sharp edges uh, as well, which I think could be improved on. It's got the world's smallest and slowest Garmin. That's, that's a bit of a downer. Below decks is marine ply. Whitley have been doing that for more than 50 years. Personally, I'd prefer a, a composite material. In fact, overall, it's, it's a really nice looking boat.
Good to see you, Alan has topped up the esky with some Captain Morgan and Sailor Jerry, giving us the option of both rum choices, and that's sure to garner favour from us. Tally ho! 